hi everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to learn how to connect transformers in star to star at primary star secondary star primary delta secondary delta it's coming to the basic construction so transformer will have two terminals this nothing but a1 a2 for single phase for second phase b1 b2 for third phase c1 c2 so i want to connect these three windings in star connection so you see the terminals a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 if you join all second terminals a1 b1 c2 then this will act as an r phase this will act as an y phase and this will act as an b phase r y b r y b are phase shifted with 120 degrees that's how to connect the transformer primary with star connection and here secondary also we are connecting in star connection the advantage of star connection is here the phase voltage is root 3 times line voltage for example line voltage generally available in the supply is 440 volts divided by root 3 if you perform you will get the line voltage as 230 volts just you have to remember very simple logic phase voltage magnitude is lower line voltage is higher and since they are connected in series connection phase current is equal to line current so similarly if you want to connect primary delta and secondary delta these connections will play major role let's try to take we have three windings r phase is a1 a2 y phase is b1 b2 this is r phase y phase and b phase and it is having c1 any winding will have two terminals how to connect this in delta fashion is connect the a2 terminal to b2 connect b2 terminal to c1 connect c2 terminal to a1 and you start exiting here as r start exiting it as r y b so here you are going to have r here you are going to have y b and this are three phases phase shifted with 120 degrees now let us try to give this connection diagram so coming to the connection diagram it's very simple to understand let's try to see here how to connect primary star connection how to connect the secondary star connection very simple i already told join a2 b2 and c2 so here a2 b2 c2 means i am applying a three phase supply i am taking a 0 volts 400 volts and next one 0 volts 400 volts next 0 volts 400 volts so now join 400 as well as the next to 400 join 400 and next to 400 and at the zero you exit with r y b and coming to the second day also you have a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 join a2 join b2 join c2 and you short circuit all these things then automatically so when you come to this uh, secondary you have an voltage varying from 0 to 100 volts 0 to 100 volts 0 to 100 volts when you join all hundreds then automatically it is connected in star connection now let's try to do the experiment of how to connect them okay so you see here coming to the wiring diagram so the wiring diagram is very simple so you can uh, give the wiring diagram like this so you have three phases you have three phases which are constructed like this you have r phase y phase b phase i am taking you can see the color code r is in red color y is in green color b is in blue color are connected to the three phase auto transformer is nothing but uh, very arc and output also we have r y b and you see here r y b are directly connected to a1 y is connected to b1 b is connected to c1 let's try to give the same circuit diagram and between b i mean r y b so y and b are connected one voltmeter which measures so you can uh, see here so when you connect it you are going to have three bases so this voltmeter is connected between y and b and this voltmeter is connected between b and neutral therefore this voltmeter acts as an measurement of phase voltage this voltmeter acts as measurement of line voltage and coming to here this voltage also acts like an measurement of line voltage this voltmeter acts like an measurement of phase voltage this is at secondary side this will as primary side the same circuit diagram i have been connected here here you can see here how the connection is going to happen so this is nothing but r phase we connected to one end of the transformer this is you can see the output of the transformer b we connected to one end of the transformer so this is nothing but 
B. So this is nothing but another end we had connected to this and R, Y, B. So when you connect it like this, uh, you can have a better clarity. I am connecting an voltmeter. You can see his circuit diagram. I am connecting a voltmeter between two phases. So this is first phase and this is second phase. So you can see here. So I have been connected an voltmeter. This is nothing but uh, one terminal and this is nothing but another terminal. So between this R and Y, I have been connected an voltmeter where this voltmeter is going to measure the line voltage. And next one, I am going to connect an voltmeter between. So this is nothing but uh, Y and this is nothing but uh, neutral. So between these two terminals, I am going to measure the voltage where this line voltage is going to measure but it is equal to phase voltage. Why? Because the connections we had connected, this is for line voltage measurement, this is for phase voltage measurement. So here it can happily measure this voltage from these two terminals. Okay. So let's try to give the connections of how to connect each individual. And next one coming to the output side so between so already we have been shown so 400 400 is short circuited this 400 400 is short circuited so this end 100 100 100 has to be short circuited you see this uh, 100 is short circuited and from this 100 to this 100 is short circuited so the confusion point here is you have first secondary and second secondary you should connect only to first secondary you have first secondary and second secondary you have to connect only to first secondary so you have to take either one session either first section secondary or second secondary i taken only the second secondary you can see here 100 i have been short circuited 100 i have been short circuited now i want to connect an voltmeter which can measure secondary line voltage and secondary phase voltage between these two terminals you can see these two terminals between 0 and 0 if you connect this is directly measuring line voltage you see this 0 so this is uh, 1 0 and this is uh, another 0 okay so when you connect between two zeros of these two ends automatically this will measure line voltage and if you connect between these two ends automatically it will measure the phase voltage you can see here so this end i have been connected to one end of the transformer and another end I have been connected to this is just this measuring a voltage parallel to this uh, secondary measuring from this 0 to this 0 will give you the line voltage this is how to view the connections this is complete diagram what we have been connected till now now let's try to excite it